Text views show static text on the screen and are equivalent to UI label in UIKit. At their most basic, they look like this. Text hello world. Now you'd like you to see inside the preview window for your content view, automatic preview updating paused. Go ahead and press resume to have Swift start building your code and show your live preview how it looks. By default, text views are single line only. If you run out of space, the characters will be clipped and replaced with dot, dot, dot. So if our label were longer, you'd see that happen. If you want your text view to run over more lines, you can either do this to make it have a specific number of lines, dot line limit three. Alternatively, you can specify nil to the line limit method, which allows it to be run over as many lines as needed. Notice the way line limit three or line limit none is placed below and to the right of text hello world. This is not required, but it does make your code easier to read in the long term. Rather than changing the line limit, you can also change the way Swift UI truncates your text. The default is to remove text from the end and show an ellipsis there instead. But you can also place the ellipsis in the middle or the beginning, depending on how important the various parts of your string are. For example, this truncates your text in the middle. Dot truncation mode, dot middle. Regardless of how you truncate the text, what you'll see is your text view sits neatly centered in the main view. This is the default behavior of Swift UI. Unless it's told to position views somewhere else, it positions them relative to the center of the screen.